Hello everyone, my name is Ritesh, you are watching Dancing with Data. Are you also trying to access Power BI Copilot like hundreds of people and getting the issues like this? Copilot is not supported in this workspace. So if you are trying to access Copilot feature because your boss is asking or you are interested or your client is asking, now this video is for you because in this video, I will tell you everything about with respect to accessing Copilot feature. Also, is there any chance to test this with a trial version or not? Well, I've gone through all the major documentation and also I raised a question in the Power BI community as well. So I have got everything to answer your question. So if anyone asks you, just share this video along with the official links which are present at the description of this video. So what is a Copilot feature? Well, Copilot helps you to use the transformational power of generative AI to get most from your data. It is generally available in both Power BI desktop and Power BI service. Before I move further, let me answer this question first. Will it work with the trial version? Can you use it for free? The answer is an oh no. Please go to the last point first. Copilot in Microsoft Fabric is not supported on trial SKU. Only paid SKU, F64 or higher or P1 or higher are supported. For example, this free version of Power BI or even for Power BI Pro, it remains the same. And if I want to create a new workspace, I can go to workspace and I can click on new workspace. And from here I can say, and after that I can go to advanced and from there you can see. So a lot of people think that this will help them premium per user. This is not going to help you. You need either premium capacity or fabric capacity that to pay it. And this is the same screenshot from the official documentation. So in simple words, if your workspace is not either of the two, you are not in a position to make use of Power BI Copilot conversation or say conversational insights. And these are not available in free or trial versions. Remember that. Okay, now assuming that you have for your workspace. The first thing that you, you need to do is to enable Copilot in Microsoft Fabric. Uh, let's click on that. And you, here you can find the link enable uh, Copilot. So you will have to go to the tenant setting and from there you need to enable the option users can use Copilot and other features powered by Azure OpenAI. So let me show you, let me show you through demo. From the home page, I can go to settings and from there I can move to admin portal. From there you can see tenant setting and you can check for, you can search for Copilot and you will see the main four options, major options and ensure this option is enabled. You can apply this to either the entire organization or a specify security groups. Now that depends upon your company's policy. Most probably you'll go with this one. If you are still not able to access uh, Power BI Copilot, probably your tenant or capacity is outside the US or France. So in such case, again, you'll have to go back to the tenant settings and enable this option where it says data sent to Azure OpenAI can be processed outside your capacity geographic region. Now, how do you find your geographic region? You come back to Power BI application, go to help and support about Power BI. So I'm in the central region or say central India, Pune. But now how do you know that Copilot is available in this region? Now for that, so you can come to this, this list and see, I need to turn on Copilot enable cross geo data processing. It also shows that my data is processing outside our capacities geographic region. Now this can be concerning if you are working in a highly secure environment like banking, so forth and so on. So if your location is a country like India, you will have to additionally enable data sent to Azure Open AI can be processed outside your capacities geographic region. Plus if you go down, you can see data sent to Azure Open can be stored outside your capacities geographic region. Do not forget to read preview terms and conditions. This last option is related to Copilot usage and billing on a single capacity. And if you want that, enable it as well. So I've covered all the five major points over here. And once you have checked all these five major points, no one can stop you to use Copilot. You can come to your dashboard or say report get into the edit mode and after that when you click on copilot it will hopefully give you your lovely chatbot instead of this annoying question so now if someone asks you this question just share this video there are links that i shared in the youtube description and close all your conversations related to microsoft power bi copilot so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data because data hi data hai kya tumko sab ko jata hai